Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It's time to see what our friend Cammie Jenkins has for us in this week's Cammie's Favorite Things, which is Can our favorite. I just say summer is my favorite thing. Oh, yes. 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 We're with you, Cam. Yes. Okay. And with summer comes berry picking. So I went out to the blueberry patch yesterday. I miss strawberry season. Did you guys go strawberry picking? You probably no, have your own. I, I have my own patch, and let me tell you, I have probably eight gallon bags in the freezer full of strawberries for my garden. Really? Yeah. Oh my oh goodness. My. They were crazy good this year. Do you grow blueberries? I do grow blueberries, yes. Of course you do. Yes. <laughs> well, I had to go to the patch because I'm very appreciative that there are people that will do all that work for me. So all, right. all I have to do is go pick them. Right. <laughs> so I have a little video right. of doing that yesterday. I had oh. so much fun. Let's take a Watch look. That. Yeah, there's a little interest down. This is down in Clever, a little bit south of Clever, Burton's Farm. And oh, it's such a cute little place. Have you ever been there? I, have I haven't. They have these little rocking chairs in the shade. So if you get too hot, you can just sit and relax. And I mean, literally Blueberry Hill right there. You know? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Did you find your thrill? I did on find my Hill? thrill on Blueberry Hill. I started singing to myself yesterday. <laughs> but they have about 30 acres, 4,000 plants. And they said each plant produces about two gallons of blueberries. And the season goes from the first week of June through the first or second week of July. I thought I'd missed it because last year I got in at the very end and I, it was very scant pickings. But this year, you can see on those plants, there's so much left to be picked. Mm -hmm. And this is the time. So go out there and do it. And, you know, you can make all kinds of treats. And here are some things that they have made, you know, muffins, scones. I mean, you could put blueberries in anything, which is what I love about it. And at the end of a hot blueberry picking session, you can see what I found there, this little blueberry icy that they had. Mm. Mm. Oh, it was so hot, and that felt so good. <laughs> I bet it did. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that looks delicious. That looks yes. delicious. Yes, so I've made us a blueberry cake. It's gluten-free. Now, here's a little, my twist on this. I used mochi flour. Have you ever heard of mochi flour? I have. Okay. I have not heard of that. Mm -hmm. So mochi is a sweet rice flour, but mm -hmm. it's different than just any rice flour. So right. if you ever go to the Japanese restaurants, you ever have mochi ice cream? Yes. Go around. Oh, yes. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Okay, yes. So on the outside of that is like the soft, stretchy, uh, uh -huh. it's not dry, like a lot of gluten-free things. And so I ordered some of that flour online, and this is my first thing that I've tried. So okay. I, no promises, but no I'm going to cut into it, and we're going to see if it's any oh, good. Oh, I'm that excited. Good. I remember you talking about that. You wanted to try a substitute for the other flowers. Yeah. For the other gluten products, or and yeah, gluten-free products. I've tried a lot of gluten-free flowers, mm -hmm. and I'm not a fan of most of them. Yeah. But when I was in Hawaii a few weeks ago, they had mochi flour pancakes <gasps> that oh. were soft and moist and delicious. And I was like, I'm going to find this mochi, and I'm going to find <laughs> something to make with it. So it happened to work out perfectly with you know, my blueberry picking yesterday. Do, do you ever use... Um, Almond flour? I do. That's one of, that actually is my favorite, but mochi might become my other favorite. <laughs> I tried to make pancakes a couple weekends ago with the um, almond flour, and it was good. Oh. It was just a little. Were they crumbly? It was heavy. Oh, it was, oh, heavy. It was heavy. It was well, heavy. Well, and this might be a little bit dense, but I feel like that it's moist. It looks than moist. Most it does look very moist. moist. I know lots of people like that word. <laughs> moist cake. But you want a moist cake. Uh huh. You know? Let me just... I think that's great, Cammie. What do you think? I think it's good. Mm hmm. I think, it's I good. think that's really good. Yeah. It really is. So this is oh. one. Sorry, you okay? I just flicked it everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> One cup of butter, so it's not for the faint of heart. That's okay. uh -huh. <laughs> I ain't afraid of butter. <laughs> I ain't either. Well, but you're afraid of this. Two cups of sugar. Oh. And then it has one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. Has four eggs, one pound, which is one box of the mochi flour, okay. mm -hmm. and two teaspoons of baking powder, and then one cup of blueberries. And I just added one ingredient at a time to my mixer, and right. then cooked it for 350 for about an hour. That is really delicious. I like that a lot. You know, if I would make this, I would do everything you did except substitute the sugar mm. for like stevia or mm -hmm. um, right. swerve. Swerve is my new favorite. I think it is my favorite too. But the first time, I usually follow. You know, instructions I to the see, tea. Yeah. And then I start doing all my substitutions the next The time. only thing I would do uh -huh. is put it in a microwave and put a half a cup of butter on it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great idea, though. I'm just yeah. saying. Because that's what I do with, like, banana bread. Oh, yeah. You heat it up and dollop that butter yeah, on top great. and let it melt. Jimmy, good job. This is really oh, good, that's though. Wonderful. Well, you guys are enjoying it. I like how um, it's moist and uh, it's melts good. in your mouth. It's a little yeah. bit like pound cake, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It does taste that way. Okay, speaking.